Hi guys, this is an interesting case I'm going to show you. A uh, patient had a complication of cataract surgery, needed a vitrectomy, and had a sulcus lens placed. And now over the past couple of months, she's had recurring uh, uveitis, and there's obvious pseudophagodenesis of the lens. And so we're going to be repositioning this lens, as well as fixing the iris. She had a little chomp taken out of the peripheral, uh, the, sorry, the pupil margin during her surgery. So just doing a, a, a PARS anterior vitrectomy and really using the vitrector to vitrect more of the posterior capsule. Because uh, what we've just done here is take the optic of the IOL and then now capture it in a combination of the anterior and posterior capsule. But that's going to keep the IOL in good position and keep it way far away from the iris to stop the iris chafe, stop the recurring uveitis as well as hyphemas that she's been experiencing. Now we're going to bring the pupil down by using the uh, amniotic agent. In this case, I used myostat. And you can see now the irregularity in the pupil border. So we're going to use a, a well-described and, and fairly simple technique of just repairing this, uh, this pupil border by using a sliding knot. Uh, it's also called the seeps or knot. And in particular, this is the Condon modified uh, seeps or knot. We've just taken a tenoproline on a CIF4 needle, uh, placed it through the proximal and distal uh, areas of uh, the iris defect and now we're tying this sliding knot it's basically a 211 knot to bring that iris defect together so first we're going to bring together the pupil border and at each one of these sutures uh, as i mentioned is a 211 so you'll have to go back and recover that distal end of the suture that little loop that you pull out of the eye twice and uh, the first time I wrap the suture around the tire uh, twice, and then the second two times it's just a single wrap. And then you pull both ends of the suture, uh, both free ends of the suture, and that will essentially slide the knot into the eye. I have another YouTube video out there on this technique using a paper plate model, and it really shows the technique quite easily. It's a little hard to describe, and it's even harder to see when you're using proline suture. Um, it's so hard to, to see what's going on. Uh, once that knot's tied, we'll go in with an intraocular scissor and cut the knot short. Now, to, to close the rest of this, we just place one more stitch. Um, this one here wasn't necessary, but I thought it would really help close the pupil. Now, what you'll often get in these cases is a little bit of a teardrop shape or a peak where you have brought the pupil border together. And there's a couple different techniques that you can use to get rid of that. Uh, but in this case, we're using a, a thermal pupiloplasty. And this is 25 gauge intraocular diathermy. And it is set on a setting of uh, around 10 to 15, uh, at least in the Centurion. That's the machine I'm using here. That cautery just causes a little bit of the shrinkage of that iris stroma. You can use it to reshape your pupil. At the end, a couple of real simple techniques coming together to make a very nice outcome in the end with a centered lens and a round, well centered pupil. Thanks for watching.